I know a lot has happened since I last spoke about Kanye, but trust me, it was worth the wait because in this video, I'm going to talk about everything that has happened since our last one. All right, I know what you're thinking, okay? Jacob, how come you've not spoken about Kanye? Well, I was busy working on a good YouTube video, okay? So until then, I'm gonna cover the situation. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna explain what's going on. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Kanye and tell you what I suspect that he's going broke. I think one of the big things going on with Kanye right now is the Yes Jewels beef. If you guys don't know, Yes Jewels was a manager of Kanye's, kind of like a social media person in some way, um, who set up a lot of events. Kanye has decided to fire Yes Jewels and sue her for 7 million over NDA violations? The Kanye Yes Jewels beef is kind of weird, right? Number one, she definitely helped Kanye like further his brand and everything. Number two, she's still like oddly positive on Twitter about Kanye, which I guess is, is, is fine. Uh, it, it, it's, also, it's probably mature, you know, like if we're being transparent that's probably the most mature way to go about this but if my boss fired me you wouldn't see me tweeting about how great he is and how much i like his music after the fact okay one thing that the situation made pretty clear with all the leaked text messages is that the yeezy team is like completely full of idiots it's like the a team of the short bus okay we got leaks coming out of bianca sensori okay kanye's hot wife with a big chicken bar. asking for like i've got i've just got to show these i'm gonna censor them but, but they're quite funny um, yeah, I, I, I think it's hilarious to ask a professional artist who is insanely accomplished, okay, to Photoshop little memes you've got in your friend group. I didn't really care, like, that she asked him to do this, right? It's probably fine if he was a like, compensator or whatever. I didn't really care. Just saying, okay? So, this whole Milo Yiannopoulos stuff, so, <laughs> if you guys don't know her, okay, this is like a whole fucking can of worms that I don't really want to get into, but to get a rundown, he's pretty much a gay. Lost my virginity in an interracial fivesome of the drag queen. Pedophilia expert. How Bring old were you? I started bringing her, I don't know, like 13 maybe. We're talking about 13, 25, 13, 28. Um, these things do happen perfectly consensually. Who advocates for Christian nationalism. As for gay rights, no thanks. Adam wants to revert our systems back to you the 1300s. Stop, so nigga. I didn't want them when I was having sex with men and I don't want them now. Okay, so I guess all of you guys who are not members of the very specific part of Christianity that Malaganapolis believes, I'm sorry, but you will be exiled. Once he gets any significant political power. I'm also glad that this is the guy who said in group chess with Kanye that he thinks Kanye superfans are mentally disabled and other stuff I can't say on YouTube. Um, so just there yeah, guys, okay? So to anybody who didn't like my Vultures review, I don't think this guy liked the album either, okay? This is just really frustrating because this Mala dude is very clearly just another one of the like kind of opportunistic enablers that we've seen around Yeezy lately. Just people taking advantage of him and obviously Kanye's mental state has been declining, even though he's not involved in politics as much. The things he does say, like the stuff with Kanye's and that, where he literally lost his shit over nothing, it's just kind of worrying. Like all the kind of ideas he presents, like I get the whole thing about him, for example, trying to sell his album off streaming, like with his own platform. That makes sense. These are the kind of things that's a part. But you can really tell that the paranoid aspect of, you know, whatever he has, is very clearly coming out. I mean, you guys can believe this, okay? But if, if we're being rational and we're just saying, okay, look at the facts here. I think it's most likely the case that Kai is not, is not a secret CIA agent that the government has sent to deter Kanye from selling clothes, okay? Which makes me question something. All of the notice that we've spoken about, right? Like Kanye suing Yes Jewels for a large amount of money. Also, like this whole streaming shift, as well as this new concept of selling every single piece of clothing on the Yeezy store for $20. This kind of made me question something. Is Kanye running out of money? Because this has been discussed in the past that he said that he was like two months off of going bankrupt. And I think all of his behavior kind of implies that, right? Like when you look at the fact that everything seems to be kind of dictated by money. Like even the fact that Vulture was dropped in the first place. Because the Kanye I know wouldn't drop something that's so clearly rushed and honestly kind of unfinished. When you look at Kanye's track record, he's not released much better songs than the ones that end up being up on Vultures. So why the fuck is he trying to get these new body features now? What's going on there? I honestly don't know. And obviously we're not Kanye, but I think all of this kind of indicates that the tap is drying out. So thanks again for watching. See you next one. Bye-bye.